Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at uh, some of the large cap stocks here some of the, um, and we're going to look at some uh, cyclicals and then we're going to take a look at a couple technology stocks um, First up I want to look at a uh, price line so take a look at PC LN here. Okay, so uh, it, it had been on a nice run. Um, it, it is at 54 here on RSI. It, it, as you can see here, there's also a bull cross here on ADX, the green line crossing the red line to the upside. So the chart's been heating up. You know, it bottomed down here on the 9th of February. And so it, so it formed a bottom, you know, hit, hit the bottom down here in 1720 zone. And then, and then as you can see here, it had five day run in a row. So it was up every single day last week. And then that was followed by this uh, long upper wick that formed on Friday's candle. Um, yeah, I meant to show you the uh, accumulation distribution here in uh, shaken money flow. And the, there'll probably be um, a tick down here. W with that long upper wick on Friday, um, many times you'll, you know, that, that you know, what, what you'd want to see is, uh, you know, on a green day is an uptick on accumulation distribution. But as you can see, it ticked down on Friday. So it was, it was pushing up all week, you know, coming off of Friday with that long lower wick. People were low and then Friday there was some profit taking, and and you could and that, that that's reflected in the upper wick on Friday's candle, as you can see the the, the bears were able to drive it down from high of day, and and and, and so the the key level to hold now is going to be the middle Bollinger band, that dotted purple line at eighteen seventy seven. So if it can hold eighteen seventy seven, eighteen seventy eight, then a possible new uptrend could begin, um, similar to back here in December when when it when it closed above the middle Bollinger band uh, on the thirteenth of December. Uh, that that started a new uptrend. I mean, you could even go with this uh, candle on the first trading day in January. Notice how the candles kept riding higher. And then once the, the middle Bollinger Band broke here on the first trading day of February, you know, th there was a big pullback. So now it's back above the middle Bollinger Band for the first time since the last trading day in January. And so so this is signaling a possible bullish change in trend if the, the middle Bollinger Band can turn into support. Currently, it, p price lines trading above the 300, the 50, the 100, the 200, and e day simple moving average averages in the middle Bollinger Band, which is the 20-day simple moving average, and it's above EMAs 4, 8, and 13. It's above all the moving averages that, that we uh, you know use on a chart. And, and so this is where it could launch higher. Similar to uh, this candle right here, you know the, the, these two candles, where, where it finally got above all the moving averages, it kept moving higher. And so that's what you're looking for if you're a bull. You want to see it stay above all these moving averages and then continue moving higher and possibly uh, retrace back up to that previous high, which would be the uh, closing price there uh, on the 23rd of uh, January. That, that'll that be the big level to break. So yeah, so if it if it does drop b below the middle Bollinger Band, th then the 200-day simple moving average at 1857 will be on deck. Okay, take a look at Walmart here. So this is another uh, cyclical uh, 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 retailer that, that, that has been on a big run. And now you can see RSI and Fasto are both in the bull zone with room in, to run until overbought levels. And then notice how the green line crossed the red line there. Another signal that the bulls are heating up. Up. So this has the same pattern as Priceline, okay? And, and so, uh, yeah, notice how it bottomed on Friday, uh, 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 the Friday the 9th, and then and then it ran every day last week. And, and so you have uh, so, so you have multiple uh, green volume bars in a row, five green volume bars in a row, and, and then you know continually pushed higher all the way into the close on Friday. So Walmart's super super strong right now. Um, it needs to hold that $104 level. If it can stay above 104, then then in this dotted purple line, the middle Bollinger Band holds, then it could get back to this prior action of having a nice sustained uptrend. If it drops below 104, that's going to be a red flag signaling it's not quite ready to go and you could see some consolidation. Everything's heating up on the chart right now. You have a, notice how the pink line crossed the line line to the upside. That's EMA4, bullish crossing EMA8. That, that's an early reversal signal. It all comes down to holding that, that middle Bollinger Band now and turning it into support. Check out the green dots. Notice how they were above the candles as the, as the candles were heading lower and, and then now the dots have flipped below the candles for the first time since the start of the pullback so that's a that's another signal that that the uh, a new uptrend could be starting and then you also have a bullish crossover on macd 8 13 and 5 you want to see that uh, 12 26 and 9 crossover if you are a bull okay take a look at costco here costco has a similar setup um you know rsi and fasto are both in the bull zone with room to run you could see the green lines crossing the red line slightly to the upside so so you know these many of the 
uh, stocks in the similar sectors here have the same pattern. And, and as you can see here, it, it, it bottomed out on the, the, the uh, February the 9th when it bounced off of that 100-day simple moving average. And, and then it proceeded to run multiple days in a row. Th th this has six green volume bars in a row. Okay, is it going to be seven? You know, that, that that's a lot to ask for. I mean, if you look back here, the last time it had um, the, the, the six green volume bars in a row over here in November and December, you can see all these white candles. You know, it was followed by a red candle and a little cool down. Uh, um, it, one red flag is, is that doji. Okay, you can see the inverted candle. That, that, that That's just like the um, what, what we saw on uh, Priceline. Uh, once again, if I um, um, put in accumulation distribution, you're going to see a spike down. And, and so that's bearish divergence, you know, that, that, that's just a signal that people are locking in gains and, and that this could be the uh, uh, top of a, 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 a you know, potential, uh, you know, temporary top. And, and, and so, um, yeah, it, it, as you can see here, this is this candle. Um, um, pull back, forming the long upper wick, and, and, and you know almost now it's not now it's showing that it's a, uh, has a small real candle body and not a doji, but 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 it's the same the the, the candlestick is is giving the same signal where where it's signaling profit taking here people locked in gains off of that 195 resistance zone and, and now it's going to come down to holding that middle Bollinger band currently at 190 if that that 189.50 level if that can turn into support a new uptrend can begin if the middle Bollinger band fails to hold you have that 50 day simple moving average right below at 188.69 almost 189 you know it's above these moving averages here it's above all the moving averages it's ready you know it's it's set up to get pushing again and if it does um what you'd want to see is a run uh back up here to the um to the the, the high close which is on the top of this candle around 198.50 and so that would be the target if the middle bollinger band turns into support if it drops back below the middle bollinger band in the 50 day simple moving average that would be a signal that the new uptrend isn't ready to go and it could pull back you know once again you have the multiple uh, um, uh, uh, green volume bars in a row you know you have the same thing you know the bounce off of support so so we have to you know be on the lookout for it cooling down okay but but you know this could get a if support holds you know this could be the start of a new uptrend so it's a really bullish close for these stocks that closed above the middle Bollinger band last week and and you just want to see them turn that level into support it, now let's look at target uh, same same uh, cyclical uh, retailer, same sector. You know, you've got RSI at 58, so it still has room to run. Fasto now is all, all up here at 86. You, you can see plus DI is trying to cross over minus DI. That green line is trying to cross the red line to the upside. And, and so what happened here on Friday, you can see this. It, 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 they're small candles, so it's not a strong pattern, but but bearish engulfing reversal pattern did form. Um, it wasn't a strong part pattern in the sense that, that, that these are very, very small candles, and some would even uh, could argue that 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 since they're such small candles, you can't really take that pattern into account. Uh, but but the pattern did form, and, and so now it's all about this middle Bollinger Band at 74 holding. And so if that 74 support zone, that dotted purple line holds, then it could retrace back up to the previous high, and that's the target for all these. They're they're, they're set up if they stay above the middle Bollinger Band to make a run back up to the recent high, which is around the same date for all these uh, stocks in the same sector. And what's going to happen when they hit that level for for target, it's either going to break 78 or it's going to um, hit 78 and form a double top. So that's what you're looking out for for the charts that I just showed you. You want to, if you're a bull, you want to see that middle Bollinger Band hold and then a retrace to that recent uh, high close, uh, which on this uh, stock here for target, it's on the closing price on January 22nd. And once it hits that level, it's either it's going to do one of two things. It's either going to break out higher or it's going to form a double top and pull back. So you always look into a lot Locking gains at this level if resistance fails to break. Okay, so if it drops below 74, that's going to be a red flag, and it could drop back down to that 50-day simple moving average at 69.50 and test support. Okay, now now we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to check out Square here, SQ. This is in the financial uh, um, um, sector. Um, you know, I mean, you could argue that this is almost a, a, a tech stock since um, you know they they're, they're using their technology, but but it is a financial stock and. Um, as you can see here, it has the same pattern 
as the as the other stocks a very similar pattern where, where it bottomed on that Friday the 9th and then it ran back up to that middle Bollinger Band and as you can see here it's 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 currently above the middle Bollinger Band um, bearish Jeremy cross reversal pattern did form I mean that that's debatable because uh, you know there is a small real candle body I'm not sure if that is a doji there it's not really a doji in my book but you know the signal here on this website was saying that it's a bearish Jeremy cross I I, I think the the it's just when, when you get a pattern that's close to a doji like this the 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 signal is the same and that's indecision okay so the the share price you know it closed right next to you know w w near where where it opened and so that the, you know no matter you know since it ran up to 45 and ran down to 43 it still closed where it started the day so it's a battle between the bears and the bulls very similar to this candle here uh, on the 14th and so for for square it has to hold 4336 if that level holds a new uptrend can begin and then you're looking for a run back up here to this high close resistance level which is on the the 31st and in that 47 level so so if uh, 43 36 holds uh, 47 will be the next target if it drops back below 43 that's going to be a red flag and you could see the the 50 day simple moving average retested at 40 okay now take a look at snap snap has been on a really nice run since it bounced after the the, the pullback and, and you can see it's frothy on our side it's, it's overbought levels on our side fasto um, it, it it had the 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 big move here uh, last you know two weeks ago and then it pulled back and and then last week it bounced off of EMA4 that's the pink line and it had a nice three-day run into the close <coughs> of the week and so now the big level to break is this closing price at 2075. That's the closing price on the 7th. If it can close above that level, it's going to signal it wants to head higher. If it fails to break this level, that's going to signal a double top and it could pull back. So so like I said about the other charts, um, th th this is at a potential double top level and it has to break that level and turn it into support to head higher. If it fails to, it could pull back. <coughs> now the level you want to hold, watch for support is EMA4 at 1971. You can see that's been holding the entire time. If there's a close below that level, that's going to be your signal that the chart's breaking down. It's cooling down, and you could get a drop down to EMA 8 at 1883. And then now let's look at MU here. Um, th th this is uh, another one that's um, uh, been uh, uh, you know heating up off the bottom. You know it had the same six day run. You can see it bottom big time off of the uh, 3750 level down here in that lower wick. So people you know some people got lucky and got got to enter down there. <coughs> And then now it's worked its way back up to the top of the channel. As you can see, it's been in this multi-month sideways channel. And, and the closing price here on the 17th of January is the key level to break. If it can close above that level, th then you're looking at a possible run up to 47. That's the closing price here in the first week of January. That's the big resistance level. So, so it's got to break you know, the, the, this 44, 50 zone. And if it does that, it could go up to 47. It, it, if it fails to hold, you know, break above that level, it, you, know, you have all the support just below. Look at all these moving averages are all converged. So it has to stay above. 4250. So 4250 is the big support level. You can hold that and then break above 4450. You could see a run up to, to, to 47. Okay, yeah, and so just keep in mind, you know, when you get the multiple green, uh, you know, volume bars in a row, when you have a big run like this, you have to be on the lookout for the stock cooling down just because, you know, nothing goes straight up, you know, just like nothing goes straight down, nothing goes straight up, and the market makers have to balance the books, and, uh, you know, so you have to be on the lookout next week for a red candle. It's coming, you know, for all these stocks that, that are on these multi-day runs, it's either going to be Monday or, well, Tuesday, you know, it, it, there's no... Uh, trading today and um, many times when the stock's running uh, t Tuesday you know it's running into a Friday Tuesday is a day that it cools down so be on the lookout for uh, you know some pressure on on Tuesday if it's strong again tomorrow that would be very impressive to stream together a seven day run and, and then what you're looking for is just new uptrends to begin on all these stocks that just broke above the middle Bollinger Band okay thank you very much for viewing this video if you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis uh, come check us out at our chat yeah and, and you know the, these are all uh, option trades and and as you can see here with all the uh, green, uh, with all the green, all the white volume bars, um, you know, we'll be having our eyes on the puts, you know, so we'll be keeping an eye on, on uh, you know, possibly uh, some puts if, if these if these cool down and take a breather, um, you know, if, if they stay strong and the uptrend continues and, and like Priceline holds that middle Bollinger Band, then the uh, calls will still be in play. OK, so it's right at that fine line here where puts could become in play if uh, if these stall out. So keep that in mind. 
if you've been riding the calls that that the charts are signaling you know you might want to lock in those gains if uh, if uh, support fails to hold at these key levels okay thank you everyone for viewing these videos uh, please check us out at our chat I'll post the link uh, below the YouTube video